there's even desert. You know, where is the Wüste in Deutschland? The only Wüste in Deutschland is the customer service. Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey, you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, actually, I'm gonna put a timestamp here if you wanna skip to when I actually start talking about the topic that I'm talking about. You can skip if you want, but I just wanted to say Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everyone that celebrates the holidays during this time. I was going to make a video saying basically thank you for 2021, for being supportive, for sticking around, and if you're here in 2022, thank you for sticking around as well. Um, but I just did not have my phone around me, my social media. I had no interest in posting anything I was enjoying the time that I was spending with my loved ones and yeah I just totally forgot the time slipped me the time escaped me and I didn't make my video but here I am saying thank you for um, supporting me for being friendly for being kind for having amazing discussions with me and arguing with me in the comment section and I'm really thankful for the majority of you maybe 99% of you but that 1% of y'all that I don't like I hope that you have nasty nasty Kiesel Spätzle the next time you eat it. I hope your beer is stale. And also if you didn't have an amazing new year, it's perfectly fine. We have 360 something days to make it better and huh, huh, huh. So yeah, with all that being said, today I'm doing a requested review video. Requested, not requested review, a requested video, you guys. They're RE, they both start with RE and so I'm gonna get them confused. I'm gonna look for the comment, but I'm pretty sure I will not be able to find it because I get a lot of comments, but it was something along the lines of, can you talk about things that you like about the United States more than Germany? And I was like, yeah. Sure, you know, it doesn't happen that often on my channel that I hop on here and talk about the United States in a better light than Deutschland. But before you guys get upset, you know, <laughs> stop before you start typing because I can already see your hands are Haley is lying, the Ami is zurück, die hat keine Ahnung, was die labert. Oh my god, scheiße, 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 scheiße. Before any of you guys say this, just listen to what I have to say. Maybe we can have a nice discussion and maybe it's some things that you've never thought about before. So, yeah, with all that being said, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. First point, you guys, is going to be wild animals, exotic animals, an array variety of animals. Unfortunately, you guys, Germany lacks when it comes to wild animals. They have very, how do you say, easy? No, that wouldn't be the word. Safe? No, that wouldn't also be the word. The Disney version of the jungle is what. Germany is. I mean, the most deadliest thing here is a cow when you go hiking or a tick when you go hiking <laughs> and you get Lyme disease. Birds, squirrels, pigs, maybe a wolf. I think a wolf has come back, so that's actually gefährlich. Exotic animals in the sense that everyone knows them from movies or TV and all that good stuff, you're probably not going to find in Germany, but that's not to say that Germany doesn't have animals. It's just not what you think of when you think of an alligator or a shark or a dolphin or an orca whale or a mountain lion or a big old moose. You're not gonna have that here. The next point is going to ruffle a few feathers, and it's sort of like a compliment, but also like a jab at the same time at the United States, so maybe it shouldn't be on the list but it's that we live pretty decent. We have an amazing, I think, quality of life when we are comparing it to the world. You have Wi-Fi, you have access to internet, you have access to running water usually, you have access to lights, to electricity, you have access to all of these things or even going to the grocery store and being able to choose between five, 30, 50 different types of chips or um, cereals, that is a comfortable quality of life. I do have to say though that we are pretty spoiled. And I think it's very interesting now, like what's happening with the pandemic and in the United States, we're having a lot of shortages of certain things because the supply chain is being messed up. You know, the fleece bond is not fleecing the way it should fleece. So let's say things like cottage cheese, people were like, oh my gosh, we can't get cottage cheese. What are we supposed to do? And it's like, why don't you just not eat cottage cheese for two weeks and eat something else? When there are people that are living all over the world, all over this planet, that don't have that ability to go even into a grocery store and have the choice of choosing between low fat milk, high fat milk, oat milk, soy milk, whoever, regular milk, lactose intolerant milk, relatively comfortable in the United States. And this could also go for Germany too, but that's something that I do like is that 
you're comfortable. A lot of people take it for granted and they don't appreciate it. They don't appreciate being able to have, you know, the options, the choices, or even the certain freedoms that they have um, allotted to them in the United States. A lot of people take this stuff for granted. And I think it's the same in Germany as well. And until you go somewhere else and experience life a little bit differently, you start to appreciate it more. And I wish more people in the United States would do that because then I think that um, it would be a lot, a lot better there to live. So the next point is going to be space, weather, terrain, and all that good stuff. In Germany, and I've talked about this before, you have no space. Literally, you could go to the end of the earth in Deutschland. I'm talking like, you know, is it metaphorically? Where you can go somewhere and you would think no one would be there, but there's going to be people there. And then you go to the United States and there are times that I can go to the beach and there will be no one around for like, miles i could just be by myself or even going out onto the ocean and being by myself you know how many times i have gone to like swim to the middle of stamberger see and just sitting in the middle just like floating in the middle of the lake and then there will be one person literally coming swimming next to me and i'm like i'm literally in the freaking middle of the lake how why are you swimming right next to me and then talking about the um climate the terrain and the weather i like that there's tropical rainforests muddy swampy arctic there's even desert you know where is the wüste in deutschland the only wüste in deutschland is the customer service you'd have to go to a whole nother continent a whole nother country to get to that location and sometimes you need a special visa you need a special you know rise meldung bescheinigung i have no idea to get there and in the united states if i want to drive from florida to arizona and go to plus 50 degrees celsius and go play with the cactus and cook an egg on my windshield on the car because it's so hot i can do that with no issue with no hassle but i mean germany also has you know the beach i'm not talking about the one in the north i'm talking about the one in the south actually you know some people call it Mallorca, I call it Male, but you can just go down there and you don't even have to speak another language or a new culture. They sell currywurst on the strand. <laughs> They speak German. They probably speak more German than they do Spanish there, even though it's a Spanish island. And then the next point, which I can slowly skim over, is the, how do you say, diversity, shape, color, size, mixture, melting pot of the United States. It's something that I really love. You can find someone that's green, purple, pink, yellow, white, black, brown, every color, and every, I have no idea, I just like that. I like having all sorts of people around me and it makes me some it doesn't make me feel awkward sometimes in germany but it just makes me like wonder when i'm alone <laughs> and i'm the only brown person sometimes i have my little afro out i'm standing there in this room full of people that do not look like me that can sometimes be awkward i'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing but it is awkward for me sometimes when i'm just standing there like okay everyone here is not like me <laughs> and in the united states that's most likely not <laughs> going to happen for the most part you can probably go down the street go into the gas station and you're not going to be surrounded by people that are one particular color or look a particular way you're going to have diversity and that also goes to show like our native language of the united states there is none there is no official language of the united states so when you go to a lot of government buildings even in florida where i live you will have government um, forms in English, Spanish, French, um, slash Creole and then sometimes they'll even have German or like Russian depending on where you live. Do I see that in Deutschland? Never. Do you think they give me an English form when I go to the Kafau Air or when I go to the Inni Amtir? Never. And I feel like a lot of people in the United States they don't ask you stupid questions regarding like where you come from or who you are or what you are like they do in Germany because the 50th time that I have to tell someone that I'm actually from the United States and that I'm actually from the United States and that my parents are actually from the United States and that's where I grew up. You, are you sure you're not Brazilian? Are you 1000%? No, I'm 1000% sure that I was born in a hospital in the United States in Florida. I 1000% can show you a picture. Actually, I can't show you the hospital anymore because it was tore down, but I promise you it's true. When I tell people that I'm from the United States, a lot of times people do not believe me just because of how I look. And in the United States, that may be one out of 500 times happens to me. The next thing is going to be the helping one another. In the United States, we help. And I will give you guys a story, which this video is probably gonna be so long, but it's something that, you know, really solidified that German people 
sometimes don't help and you guys will say like oh yeah germans we're supposed to help though it's against the law if we don't help but i've been in so many situations where germans just do not help and we were at neuschwanstein a few days ago and mike and i we were playing around we were outside of the car you know looking at stuff but we saw a guy a little further down the street you know getting stuck in the snow but there were like a whole bunch of people around him there were people standing on the side of the road looking there were people driving past you could clearly see this man was like face for not first but he was stuck in the snow and we're like okay someone's going to help him not a single person helped him they just all stood there looking so we get into the car we drive down to this guy that's stuck in the snow come to find out this guy was from texas never seen snow in his life never driven in snow do i think it's smart to drive in snow if you've never driven in snow before probably not but that's a different story different discussion mike was like hey let's try to get you out so we're digging in the snow pushing this car then all of a sudden the wonderful German people that are rubbernecking or, you know, watching on the side of the street, they are telling us how to do it. Das machst du falsch. So kommst du nicht raus. Du musst ein Lenkrad so und so machen and blah, blah, blah. And I was just looking at them like you, the, this man has literally been sitting here for 15 minutes. You guys have been standing there watching, offering no help. But as soon as someone comes to help, you put, you give your Zimta to. And I think they thought that Mike was probably American too and he didn't know what he was doing. And he didn't listen to them and he didn't hear them like yell at him and stuff and he was doing it his way and he just slid right on out of the snow and so the german people instead of saying oh gut gemacht they're like ah, ah. they were upset that mike did not listen to them and granted he could have called adi atzi but it was an easy fix that you know if he would have called adi atzi he would have had to pay money out of pocket which would have probably been a pretty penny it's not like it's only 40 euros to call and get them to push you out of the snow it probably costs 100 or 200 euros if i'm not mistaken and so we're just thinking this little 10 minutes that we can invest to help these people, I'm pretty sure would help them or make their day. And it did. And this is something that I feel like does not happen that often here in Deutschland. And it's something that it, it sometimes bothers me because it's just going above and beyond to be nice to people, people around you. It's not being fake. It's not being anything. It's just doing a good deed because a good deed is, how do you say, presented to you. You know, Mike and I were laughing because we said if this happened in the United States and we couldn't get them out, then we'd have to call our friend that has a tow truck that will come and do it for free and we'll set up a grill on the side and we'll open up a can of beer, sit on our little chairs, wait for the tow truck to come or everyone comes and we wave someone down and they come and they're like, oh, I have a flashlight. Do you need this? And uh, Germany? Ha! <laughs> Won't happen. So the last and final point, you guys, this video is pretty long, but it's going to be the dreamer attitude. Now, this is something that I like and dislike because you want to be a dreamer. You want to have some childlike dream mentality to you. You want to be able to, I don't know, just be a fun, open person and want to achieve, like, I don't know, reach for the clouds. But the problem is, is that a lot of people in the United States, their heads are constantly in the clouds and they're not very realistic. You know, they think, oh, I'm going to open this shop. I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be a billionaire and we have this idea I have this idea and you'll constantly see people in the United States talking themselves up which like I said is a good and a bad thing but I do like the dreamer mentality the push the hustle you know that I can do more we can do more I can achieve more I want to achieve more sometimes I talk to people in Germany and I'll like talk about them achieving something and they'll say no I'm comfortable the way that I am which is good too but it's like sometimes you want a drive. Sometimes you want, you know, just a little more uh. And the thing is, I've realized that when you tell people in Germany that you have a dream, I don't know if it's like realism or if it's pessimism or what it is, but German people will sometimes knock you down. And it's not in a mean way, I don't think, but it's like, let's say someone says, I want to open a store to sell ceramic bowls. In the United States, someone will say, oh my gosh, that's a really good idea. Let me see what type of bowls. Do you have any um, samples? Can I see? Can I buy some? Can I try them out? That's usually how the general, I guess, perception would be. But when you do that in Germany, let's say you talk to someone, you say, yeah, I want to open a ceramic bowl. They'll be like, can you make money doing that? Are you sure you want to do that? But what about um, Selbstständigkeit? This is really schwer, huh? What is, what's about Krankenversicherung? There's always like something that is stopping you from achieving your dreams or there's someone that's always there to be realistic. And like I said, this is a good and a bad thing because you don't want to be too dreamy. You don't want to be too high up in the clouds, but you also don't want to be constantly like putting yourself down or not wanting to achieve something because you're scared of A, what other people might think of you or B, um, there's always going to be someone telling you that you can't do it or that it's too expensive or that it's not attainable or that it's not possible. 
I just like the dreamer attitude in moderation. But there are a lot of people that I do say the negative aspect of this is that you have a lot of individualistic people that only look out for themselves. So yeah, with all that being said, those are all the points you guys. I'm going now because this video is so long and I've had so many interruptions that I've had to restart and talk and re-talk. So yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully I didn't offend anyone. And if you agree or disagree, you can let me know down in the comment section. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day and bye.